Hi guys, Jason here from Trojan Photography and today I've got a DIY project for you. So as you can see in the title, I'm going to show you how to make anti-fog inserts. So I'm going to show you on the GoPro with the GoPro casing, but you can use this for any of your cameras which have a casing for waterproof and stuff. So your Sony's or your DSLR or your mirrorless, if it's got a waterproof case or something, you're generally going to want to have an anti-fog insert or multiple anti-fog inserts in there to stop it from fogging up obviously and stop the condensation and the moisture in there from ruining your shots or ruining your gear as well which is more important really and I'm going to show you how to make it you can obviously buy these online for a couple of dollars and stuff or five ten dollars for a pack of twenty or something but I'm going to show you how to do it with stuff you're probably going to have around the house if not it's going to cost you a couple of dollars to get these things and you're going to make so many of them it's going to be quick it's going to be fast it's going to be easy so quickly before we get into this, the reason why these cases and stuff fog up is for a couple of different reasons. Generally, if you're near water or something, you're going to have a lot more moisture around, along with a device like the GoPro or any other camera is going to start to heat up. And if you, there's cooler air outside, it's going to create that condensation inside. That's generally what's going to fog up the case and worse still, the lens port for it. So let's get into it. So what are you going to need? Paper towels. Any brand's going to do. Generally, the more absorbent ones are going to be best, but that's up to you. But all paper towels I've used have worked so far. And scissors. That is the bare essentials of what you'll need. Now, optionally, some tape, a little roll of tape, doesn't really matter what tape. Generally, wouldn't use masking tape, just normal tape. Is going to be very handy. I'll show you why, but you don't necessarily need that, okay? So, let's start. So, we get our paper towels. We just get one square. Now what you want to do, depending on the case, is going to depend on the size we're going to cut on this paper towel. So the depth of the GoPro cases, most of them I've got the, um, the one that comes with the 3 and then the one that comes with the 3 plus and the 4. They're about a centimetre and a half deep and I'm going to make these eventually to about 2 centimetres wide. So with your paper towel, the ruler, otherwise you can just do it freehand. I'm just going to start it off with the ruler. Just going to make a snip. We're going to cut a length all the way down. So, probably pretty average cutting there, but anyway, we've got our length. It's about a centimeter to a centimeter and a half wide, which is what we want. So all we're going to do is fold it in half, half again, we'll go one more time in half. So there we go, we've just got this little sort of wad of paper. Now with my tape, which I've probably cut a bit too big at this moment, excitement, I'm just going to tape up just the ends of it just so it doesn't unravel. Because what I like to do is I'll grab a whole square, just one square, cut it all up, roll them all, put the tape on it, and then I can put it in a sealy bag. Now if you're storing them and you're not using them in the camera, put them in a sealy bag or some sort of sealed bag so it doesn't get extra moisture in there so they stay fresh and stay good. Same as with the other ones. So then we just get our case, I'm gonna slot the GoPro in there, and this thing will fit nice and snugly down the bottom of that. Now, when you put it in, make sure it goes all the way in and make sure it doesn't affect where the seal is. If you get the paper in between the seal and the case, you're gonna lose that seal and as soon as it hits water or something, it's got the huge potential of water going in, okay? So then we can close it up and go with that. So I'm gonna make a couple more. We're gonna chuck this into time-lapse mode so it goes really fast. Then I'm going to chuck these two, I'm going to turn both the GoPros on, chuck them both in the fridge, one without the anti-fogs, one with the anti-fogs, I'm going to show you what we can do with that. Okay, let's go. All 
All right, so I've made four here. Um, now, depending on the case, now with the GoPros, you'll find the original, like Hero 3, Hero 2 cases and stuff, have a bit more room around the inside of them when you put the GoPro in. So you can sort of make these a bit thicker. So depending on the thickness and the size of the paper towel and stuff, make one, check it out, make sure with the Hero 4 and 3 Plus cases, it is a bit tighter fit when they've made the case smaller, so you're not going to fit the thicker bits in. So as you could probably see on that time lapse on the last strip, I cut, I cut half, I cut it in half again and then folded it. So then quite simply, put the insert in, make sure it's well away from where the seal will be. I'll put the GoPro in on top, put another insert just on the side, sneak that in nicely. Make sure it's off the seal. I'll put one more up top, just for safety. One on the, one on the back. So, I've got one on the bottom, I've got one on the back, and one on the side. That should be enough. So I'm gonna chuck, turn these on, both of them on, that way they do heat up inside a bit. I'm gonna chuck them in the fridge, that way it's definitely a cool environment. We're gonna see what happens to both of them. So the Hero 4 will have the inserts, Hero 3 won't. Let's go with that. So guys, as you can see from that little shot I just showed you there, you can see the Hero 3, which didn't have any inserts, has completely fogged up on the front. What you probably still can't see is on the back and the sides and everything. Whereas the Hero 4, no fog at all on any parts, any of the sides, and most importantly on the front. So two things I didn't really mention was if you get paper towels which sort of have this pattern on it which you probably could have seen from that close up it makes it really easier to cut straight lines not to say you need to but you could use a knife and a ruler if you really want scissors was just easier and faster than what I had on hand for this and that's what I usually just use the other thing is you besides the fog besides the inside of the case fogging up ruining your footage you've really got to be careful if it fogs up like this many times it's creating condensation which can get in the circuitry which defeats the purpose essentially of having the housing and stuff because eventually it could leak in get to the electronics or ruin the glass on the lens and stuff and start to form fungus or bacteria and stuff and that's just going to permanently ruin it and you're going to have to replace the lens so I hope this video was really helpful. I want to sort of make some more DIY tutorials as well as my reviews and stuff. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. If you have any other questions or comments about this video, anything you want to know, please leave them in the comments below. You can also find me on Facebook and on my website. Links are in the description below, guys. Thanks.